What's up, y'all? It's your boy Charles. Charles and his world checking in. Get that thumbs up button. Uh, we are about to get into Twitch, people. Give me the thumbs up button. We are about to get into this video. Um, well, not a video. This is actually not even a video. I'm, I'm used to doing videos, so uh, this is not a video. It's actually a picture that has been making its round on social media. So a father's reaction to his daughter choosing a black man for prom. So this is what, let me see, is my sound on? If I continue, is the sound working? Yeah, there you go. So a father, um, in cool part about it, his daughter, his daughter, his daughter printed, put the put the, tw the text between her dad and I guess her and her dad were going back and forth about her going to prom with this, this brother right here. Somebody said this is fake. I wonder if this is fake or this is real. But this looks like a real text message right here. Okay, so here's what the text message said. The text message said this. This is what, now she posted this on, I guess she posted this on her Twitter or whatever, on her, on her, on her social media. Um, she put with her dad the text message that her and her dad had. Uh, so apparently uh, her dad said, we are done. I won't be coming to your graduation, nor will I pay for your college. Go live with the N-words. Um, I went to prom with a black guy, so that's a problem. Race as much. Yes, I am your d dad. Yo, what was that? Yes, I am your dad? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, he said, yes, I am your dad to me. Oh, snap. Woo. Wow. She, she said, K, don't ever contact me again. We are through. Go ahead and be... A effing whore. Leave me out of it. I'm canceling your phone Monday. You can't do this. Uh, you can't do this. I'm done with you. Dang, he was really... That's kind of... Just for her going to the prom with the guy? That's just for her going to the prom? They're not even to get... Like, that might just be her date. Is that her boyfriend? He really... Wow. He canceled your... Monday, I can't do this. I'm done with you. Uh, I didn't do anything wrong. That's what the daughter said. Shut the F up. You have no right to talk to me anymore. Go live with the effing N-words. <laughs> the effing N-words. That's what he said. Uh, your pictures your pictures are already off my walls. Wow. You can go to H-E double hockey sticks, which is, you know. Uh, what the F is wrong with you? I'm canceling your phone and your insurance. We are done. Wow, he took her, he took her off his insurance. This daddy really hate black people. Well, a lot of <laughs> this is not surprising in America, right? Uh, you want to mingle with subhumans? I'll treat you accordingly. Wow. Mm. You want to mingle with subhumans? I'll treat you accordingly. Wow, I wonder is this true? Is this somebody? I'm gonna read some of these comments over here. Comment, let me see what the comments say over here. Let me see what the comments say. Uh oh, where is it at? Where, oh, where'd it go? Uh oh, I can't look at the comment. Oh, I can't. Okay, here you go. The comments right here. Um, really hope this is fake. Having a guy like that as a father figure would be horrible. Must be the mom who raised the girl with better values. I would hope so. Um, wow. I wonder is this real? This already got this somebody put they put this up this morning at nine at nine fifty five and it already got twelve point six million views. This must be I wonder this must be real. Is it prom time? No, it's kinda early for prom though. It's like the beginning of March. When is prom prom is around March? It's around April, ain't it? But I guess people had their proms at different times. They have they prom. They had they prom early. If this is true, they don't have the date on here though. So this must be fake because usually they have the date on the uh, test message, text message. So this could be a trolling post, right? When you send a text, do you see? Do you have the mess? Do you have the, the date on it? I don't know. That's crazy. I wonder is this real? He said, you want to mingle with subhumans. That's what they think. They think they really be thinking that we are not human. That's crazy. It's funny. Speaking of racism, I was in, uh, 
I was I was in Santa Monica at the Whole Foods. Santa Monica got a lot of racist white people. I was over in Santa Monica getting at Whole Foods, and I was walking to my car after I had went. I had bought a salad, and I put my salad in the car. I said, "Oh snap! I have to use the bathroom." So I went back inside to use the bathroom uh, at Whole Foods, and when I went back inside. No, when I came back out from using the bathroom, it was this white guy walking the opposite direction in the parking lot. So I just look. I just happened to look. He was looking at me, like looking at like, what am I doing over here? Like it's like they really be giving you looks out here in L.A. Like, well, you're not supposed to be over here with all those. Like, well, you must be over here doing some crime or something. That's the way he looked. Little skinny, little dorky, little white man. So he was walking back this way, the opposite direction, going inside Whole Foods, and I was walking in the parking lot, going to my car. And so I just turned and looked back at him. Like, what the hell is wrong with this dude? He thought he he turned and looked back at me like. And then he gonna hit his his alarm on his car. How about this 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 old cracker ass cracker had a old ass probably was a two thousand and seven Honda Jeep. The paint was faded. He like you really gonna think I'm gonna take your old ass Honda? I drive a twin twin Toyota Rav. My car worth more than yours. But he locked this damn door. I think he was doing that to be. I should have said something to his ass. You know what I'm going to start doing? This, this, this goes out to a lot of black folks, man. When you Asian, Hispanic, whatever. Whatever race it is. When you feel like somebody doing some racist shit, call the ass out. Pull that race car, dude. A lot of times we'd be scared to say something because we like, I don't want to think, think that, you know, I'm an angry black man or I'm pulling the race car. Yeah, that's why we got it. To pull that race car. I should have said, you crack ass cracker. Ain't nobody fits to your ragged ass Honda. I should have said that to him, but I just I didn't. It didn't, you know. I just I said, "What did he just do that?" Because it was just believe, I'm like, really, you think I'm trying to steal your old ass Honda? You got a Honda, dude. <laughs> a 2007. It was a 2006 or seven Honda, old ass Honda. I drive a 2020, and you, I'm oh, like, are oh, you serious? Yeah, I thought that was so. That happened last night. So yeah, these motherfuckers still racist, man. Is hell. Yeah, you're gonna tell me, yeah, you're gonna look at me, you're gonna look on hit his alarm. Like I'm gonna go get into his Honda and steal his steal his Honda. You know? You know what I think it is with them though? The pale faces. You know what I think it is? I think what it is is that I have you ever been have you ever um uh, I don't know if y'all ever did this before. Have you ever had like a dog or something? Or a cat or have like a, a dog or have you ever had like a been over a friend house or something, or, well, I'm gonna give you an example. Okay, so, um, I forgot where I was at, but oh, my friend had a uh, had a cat, and another friend of mine brought his dog over to my other friend's house, and she got a cat, and as soon as the cat saw the dog, the, now this dog is not. Violent. The dog. The dog is just really a playful dog. Real gentle dog. Won't won't hurt a fly. You know what I'm saying? Won't bite nobody. Just a real. I think almost like a puppy. It's like a. You know. I mean, I don't even think the dog was even that old at the time. Well, my friend brought his dog over to my homegirl house, and she got a cat, and the cat freaked out. Like the cat would not take his eyes off the dog and the dog was trying to play and the cat was like uh uh like what are you doing like what are you doing here and the cat just watched the dog the whole time and the whole time the cat's hairs was standing up on its back like it was just so scared of this dog and the dog was just playing the dog was just minding his own business and the cat was just like what is he doing what is the what's that dog and the cat was just watching the dog every time the dog moved the cat look up at the dog so the, the dog lay down the cat Put, put his head down and still look at the dog and turn. And the cat be about to fall, fall asleep. Soon as the dog moved, the cat look where the dog at. With the dog. I, that's what, I think it's just instinctually in a, a lot of them that they just, when, when we're around, they get like that cat. They don't, they can't help it. Like, oh, it's my black. Oh, shit. What are they going to do? You know what I'm saying? I think that's, it, it's just, it's just in them. They can't help it. Every time we're around, they get nervous. They don't know what to do. They get scared. Are, are, are they going to steal? Are they going to rape something? Like, they get real, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, real crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think it is. I think it's just in them. They can't help it. If it's not white like them, they freak out. They don't know how to, you know what I'm saying? They don't know how to to, to act. 
They don't know. I have to, you know, you say hello to someone, they get, how do you, motherfucker, treat me like a human being, motherfucker. Like, you know, but they think that. They think that we're like subhumans or something like that. But that was, you know, I remember seeing that. And I, I you know, because I'm an observer, I watch animals and stuff, and I'm watching them. And my, and my friends didn't really notice this. They noticed it at first, but I was just watching how that cat reacted. Now, mind you, this dog is not vicious at all. Just like us, a lot of us ain't vicious. But the cat was like, what is the dog about to do? Is the dog going to try to try to bite me? That's what I think it is. I think it's just that. They just don't feel comfortable around us. They think we're going to just, ah, I'm going to kill you. Know, where the white woman at? You know, they just think we're just going to go crazy. Give me your money. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I just think it's, it's just in them. You know, this is sad. I hope this is, I hope this is fake. Hit the thumbs up button. I want this is fake, man. <sighs> Yeah, but I thought that was, yeah. That's what I think it is. I really think it is. I think, you know, if I was a scientist, I would do I would do a test test like that. I would have like a room, like a glass from like with my lab coat on. I would bring a racist white man in, have him sit down in a chair and just say, sit, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit on this chair and then something's gonna come in here. It's not gonna be, you know, I just want you to just give me your first instinct of what to do. Then it's, I'll put the racist white man in the chair. And then I'll send in a black man to sit right in front of him in another chair and just see what he does. And just have the black man just look at him like this. And then I'll just, I'll just watch and like reach like, okay, so what? And, then just, and, then, and they have like the little things all over him and stuff. Check his pulse, see if his heart starts pounding fast when the black man walks in. I bet it does. I think, that's, I think it's just instinctual in them just to get real tense and just real scary around us. I think it's just, you know, that's what I think it is, you know. But anyway. What do y'all think about this video, man? <laughs> I have to say it all that to say this. What do y'all think about this video? This is crazy. I hope this is not true. Damn. You know? And we just had Black History Month last month. Hey, are you serious? But I don't see the date. This says yesterday. So this message from, oh, this is from yesterday. That's what it said. But usually it would have the date. That's so why I'm thinking this might be a fake message. I'm thinking this might be a fake message because... There's no date. It has a time. This is at 11.10 p.m. What is it? 11.10 p.m.? Then it's kind of grainy. You can't really see what the text message is really saying. It says, Daddy with the heart. But if this is true, he really cut her off. For, and she's not even... She don't even know if she's even dating this dude. She could just be going to the prom with this. You know, a lot of times, guys, you know, people go like a bunch of friends. It could be just a bunch of friends going. And he just wanted to pick her up. Like, are, is she dating the guy? Just because they're going to prom? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, damn. That's crazy. He said, I'm canceling your phone and your insurance. We are done. I want, <laughs> you want to mingle with the subhumans. I'll treat you accordingly. <laughs> if that ain't the kick in the head. That's crazy. Anyway, let me go ahead and end this video, man. What y'all think? Leave your thumbs up. Leave your comments and then hit your thumbs up button. I'll let y'all later.